Hey, welcome to a board game today. I'm Brian, and my hands is Exit the Game Advent Calendar, The Hunt for the Golden Book. It's an exit game mixed with an advent calendar, and for those who've never done an exit game, it's pretty much a skate room that you can bring in your home, filled with puzzles, and you have to solve them, and it kind of takes you to the next thing, and the next thing, and the next thing. In this case, it's an advent calendar. So in this way this done is done is there's a bunch of doors, and you have to go and figure out which is the next door based off the riddles of the previous doors. So we're on day four. Uh, so this is the first day that I might actually have a criticism of this, and it's a minor one, and I think people around my age will probably laugh at this. Uh, so the entire uh, riddle on this one has to deal with a rotary phone. Now, the game says it is for people ages 10 and up. I don't know too many 10-year-olds that know rotary phones. I'm going to go out on a limb and say there's probably a good chunk of 20-year-olds who do not know rotary phones. So for me, there's something kind of funny about this one in that uh, I think the age of this actually might not quite fit the riddle that you have to at least do or puzzle that you have to do with this one. Uh, it's really cool. I mean, I, th I think the thing that, and I'm kind of half joking on all that, um, but I think the thing that really kind of stands out to me about the uh, this advent calendar, this exit game is um, it's a lot of physical manipulation. I think this is really, really neat. Uh, it's been pretty clear, I think, for most of these as to what needs to be done. Uh, so it's been interesting getting to up to this point of seeing how it can uh, vary uh, the various puzzles that you have to do. So to me, that's it's really neat. It's really interesting, and uh, it's a lot of fun. And I think it makes this a very unique experience in, in a good way. So what you do is you have to get through the puzzle. Uh, the puzzle will then give you some numbers that you have to figure out. And then on the back with the numbers, it tells you kind of what direction to go as far as doors to open. And then, um, you know, you, you match the symbols to the door to make sure you have the right door. Uh, so far, so good. I've, I've, you know, solved every single one. Uh, you got a main book that has stories, uh, the story that you actually have to kind of follow, and then a help book just in case. Uh, in case you have troubles and, and can't th through the puzzle. So you're no way at a point you're going to get uh, left hanging. And for those when I talk about rotary phones, if you don't know what a rotary phone is, this is what a rotary phone looks like. Um, so overall, like, I'm pretty happy with this. This is pretty cool. I think the only thing that I wish it told you is what you should keep and what you need to get rid of. So far, I've been keeping everything. Um, I put the rotary phone little device that you need back in the uh, the box, and unfortunately, like I have no idea where it went. It's slipped somewhere in the box. So hopefully, I don't need that for something else, because uh, that would get a little difficult. Because I have no idea where the hell it is in here. Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't throw it out. And then there was a couple other things that you like punched out, and I, again, I don't think you need those. So that would be my only criticism. Uh, overall, as I really do wish it kind of told you, here's the things to keep, here's the things to get rid of. Um, but overall, this has actually been, it's really fun, it's really entertaining, um, I, I like it. As, as with it, you know, it being an advent calendar, uh, you get 24 days of uh, riddles and puzzles to enjoy. I think it retails for like 50 bucks, so you know, you're looking like two bucks a day, which is not a bad thing. Um, overall, I, I it's fun. For, for someone who's never really done an advent calendar and never done something like this before, I'm really enjoying it. And, and I can see the appeal uh, for individuals. And someone who does like like riddles and puzzles and stuff like that, it's, it's right up my alley. Uh, you can get yours. Uh, we've got some links beneath this video. Some of them are affiliate links. So we do get a small percentage by doing that. You'll support our site, though. So thank you. And I want to thank Cosmos for putting us up with the review copy. We appreciate that, and of course, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you are into games, if you're into board games, card games, role-playing games, miniature games, check us out every single day at boardgametoday.com. Uh, We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, and TikTok, all at Board Games Today, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep rolling those dice and get your game on. Hey, thanks for watching Board Game Today. We always appreciate your views and your support, but there are so many ways for you to support our site. Not only can you do right here on video, but you can go and check us out at BoardGameToday.com where we have more news, reviews, interviews, everything you could ever want. But since you're here, if you could, you can always give us a like, subscribe, or share our videos or watch something else. As always, much appreciated and get your game on.